So, defrost potato, my friends, and welcome back to another piano tutorial. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Veteran of the Psychic Wars by Blue Oyster Cult. Um, the reason why I made this video is because, well, uh, I had to learn it myself because there's no other videos on it. So... Let's start off. So anyway, the very beginning is uh, really weird. I mean, the whole song's weird, but you know, it's it's a weird, uh, sharp, more like. Right, so that's a D and an A sharp, B flat. I'm going to switch over to the left because it sounds a lot better. So this is just the simplest version. There's probably, there's a better version that I know. Um, it's not actually better. This is closer to the song, but I like my version better. Anyway, this is the simpler, closer to the song, better version. You know that weird tone. So anyway, you get that weird tone. Then you do D, A sharp, G. So it's D, A sharp, G, D, D. So. And then. After that, we go C, D, C, G, A sharp. So. C, D, G, C, D, C, G, A sharp. There you go. So now it becomes. Now, after that, uh, the song kind of fades into this bass, which is just literally holding down D, and then C, and then if you want to add some pizzazz, you go, but you don't have to because the song doesn't do that, so you just go A sharp. <laughs> So this song literally transitions into this long, multiple thing of the piano just going, acting as a bass. So you can listen to the song, pull up the song right now, and you'll you'll understand what I mean. And then, after that's done, it very sharply transitions. Um, I'm going to be following along with the guitar slash voice on the right hand and the bass on the left hand because the piano itself is pretty boring in this song just to sit there going... <laughs> so we're going to be following along a little bit but then it starkly contrasts and shifts into G and a C it goes G, A sharp, C. G, A sharp, C. G, A sharp, G. G, A sharp, C. G, A sharp, G. Which this is, uh, this is the, uh... This is uh, after the You See Me Now, a veteran of a thousand psychic wars. This is the uh, Why Can't I Think of the Lyric. That's the section of this part of the song. It's the Why Can't I Think of the Lyric part of the song. You know what it is. You know what it is. Just pull up the damn song. It'll sound exactly like this. Is the, 
I hate it when piano tutorials, side note, I hate when piano tutorials do not give you the song in the same key because it's simpler in a different key. Well, this is in the same key, all right? <laughs> So once you do the G, A sharp, C, G, A sharp, G, uh, the, this hand, the left hand, just goes literally. And then you hold on the A sharp, and then you go D sharp for the right hand and the left hand at the same time. You can do a little for the uh, wound, wounds are all I'm made of part. And then uh, on the left hand I like to go but on the, or this is the right hand, not the left hand. The left hand I like to just skip the D and but you can do as you choose. This is the uh, Wounds are all I'm made of section. This is the, uh, uh, not, not that. Hang on. <laughs> uh, so you go D sharp, D, A sharp. And then on the left hand, D sharp, A sharp. And then you let the guitar do its little roll there. And then you hear, then you hear the, uh, which I wish there was more to that, but it's literally just holding down C. This is the, uh, did I hear you say this was victory slash whatever else you want to, whatever other part of the song you want to put in. So you do C, and then real quick, A sharp, C, D. See? I am realizing now, as I'm recording this, why there's no videos on this. <laughs> it's, just not, it's not very entertaining. But, but as, damn it, if you're a piano player and you like sci-fi songs, then this is essential knowledge, okay? So, you like sci-fi and you play piano, this is essential knowledge for both those things. Okay, so... That's that part of it. So, so far, just as a quick recap, we got, uh... And, uh, on that section, by the way, the, the, just the rolling section, you can play along with the original, uh, riff there. But that's not in the actual song. Anyway, so then it just cuts. Guitar riff. So that's where we are so far. And then it's then this is the part that I struggled on the most because it's so fast and it's just jarring to the muscle memory. So it is the uh don't let these shakes go on. It's time they're yeah. So let these shakes go on. It's time we had a rake from it. Yeah, this is this part. So let's go on. So yeah, it's G, A sharp, C hold, just for a little bit, G, A sharp, G, and then get ready for this, this is the big roll time, we had a baby, it's C, D, D sharp, F, G, C, twice if you want to do that. So. Hang on, I messed it up. And then the 
piano part plays a different segment, a slightly modified version. Because this is what the singer sings, but the piano segment plays next. Which is weird, and all the while the left hand is just... You can skip up to G, but I think it makes it sound weird. I just prefer. I think that sounds a lot better. Anyway, and then it's it it uh, quickly just does a little. Because time we add some leave. Which is G, C. Anyway, um, I just had to double check if I was doing that right. So yeah, then the piano plays after the uh, break from it. The uh, piano plays C, D, C, G, A sharp again. Then C, D, D sharp, F, G again. It just kind of repeats itself, but a little bit different. And then uh, it's time we add some leave. And then the We've Been Living in the Flames is just the... It's G, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, C sharp, whatever many times, you know. Now the, oh please don't let these shakes go on, is A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G, F, G. So A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Right? No, it's A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G, F, G. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Now, in the end, you might hear the bass. And this is what drove me crazy. This is what I postponed the video for, really. I mean, I've been doing a lot in school, too, but that's besides the point. The bass at the end is what drove me crazy. So at the end of the song, during the guitar solo, by the way, you know it, it's just again and again and again while whatever. I mean, you can figure that part out on your own. I mean, it's if you want me to, it's D, A sharp, you know, back to the original riff. While D, A sharp, G. And then D, A sharp, D, D. And then that's that's the pause while the guitar riff is going. The end bass is what drove me insane because I couldn't figure it out. And I still really haven't figured it out, but I came up with something that sounds like it. So in the end, you hear the bass, what sounds like it's adding like some kind of chord to it, but it's really not, but it sounds like it because of the way the bass is. So anyway, what I figured out is in the end, whenever he's screaming on um you just go d a sharp and then with this hand you go g d sharp because they align but uh, on that last one though it's kind of weird because uh that doesn't play in the song it goes d a sharp G, G, and then you would do the roll again. You do the A sharp, C, A sharp, G, F, G. So I know this tutorial is disorganized and probably terrible, and I probably made it better with editing. For some reason, to be able to play this and i'll play the whole song for you right now
insert the guitar. again but then the ending I did it wrong I also did it wrong That's the one. Okay. I don't... I still... I've been at this for weeks. <sighs> it's a complicated song. <laughs> I mean, it's written by a complicated man. Uh, <laughs> in case you have, if you've ever uh, read Winds of Limbo or Elric... Chronicles or anything else. Duke of Melniborn, then man. Anyway, I just I just thought this was video would be helpful. I'm sorry if it wasn't. I'm sorry if I failed, but it's all I could do. I've been at this for weeks. I literally postponed making this video to try and get better at it. And you know what? I'm just, I'm pretty much giving up at this point. I can play the song correctly. It's just a matter of memorization at this point. And I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. By the way, we're close to 40 subscribers. 40 people, man. It's a new record on the channel, 38 subs. And I've been getting just massive views recently. Man, it's crazy. 40 people. 40 people. 40 people couldn't fit in my living room. <laughs> um, well, they could if they were like shoulder to shoulder, maybe. But And standing on top of the couch and the counter and the dining table and the, the TV and everything else. But uh, yeah, pretty wild. All right, thank you guys so much. I'm sorry if this tutorial, it's just disorganized my, all my other videos and my first tutorial, so it kind of fits. But yeah, and I'll, I'll see you in another video. Thank you. See you in another video.